Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. So today what we are going to be creating is what you see on my screen. So if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started in today's design, I want to recommend Canva Pro to you just in case you are looking at having a lot of things done in Canva when it comes to working with multiple clients to the point where you need to add their brand kit to your design, Canva Pro helps you with that. When it comes to removing background images, um, resizing one design to various dimensions for social media or for any purpose, Canva Pro can help you do that with a click. And also when it comes to publishing your contents directly from Canva to any social media platform, Canva Pro helps you to do that. So I have a special link in the description box below that can help you to try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. So without any much I do, let's dive into Canva and let's get started with today's design. And oh no, let's not, don't go yet. Okay, so the thing about today's tutorial is, you know, most of the time you get to hit milestones on any social media platform, maybe YouTube, um, is YouTube really a social media platform like Instagram, uh, Facebook and all of that and you'd you know they always come to the point where you'd want to celebrate them with your audience and um, try to come up with interesting concepts for your you know for your milestone um, designs can be very tricky sometimes I get to struggle a lot when it comes to that to be honest with you so in this tutorial I just want to be able to help you create the milestone design for your next milestone i hope it makes sense so yes that's all what this um tutorial is about so let's dive into canva and let's see how to create this okay so this is what i created and i'm going to show you how i did everything inside of canva so click on create a design okay click on create a design and um you know choose the dimension 1080 by 1050 okay so once you do that you would see something like this okay so now come into photos in photos i'm going to go into my recent um photos and you can choose any photo at all you want based on the feel you're looking for but this is the photo i use i added you know this car over here right clicked and set the image as background okay so double click and drag it here then what i did was came to edit image in edit image i came to adjust i clicked on see all and this is all the options we have over here so i would increase the blurriness of it and this is what we have so i increase it to 61 and this is how it's going to look then i come to uploads in uploads i'm just going to look for my pretty 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 image okay so i will select this image then i come into edit image in edit image i'm going to click on bg remover and this is one of the fantastic things about canva pro and that's why i also want you to at least try canva pro for 30 days but there's something interesting also there's this tool i came up with which is called media modifier which helps you with some interesting um how do you call it mockups online and you do not need photoshop to create this kind of mockup and with the help of media modifier i was able to create this um design you see over here and it's just mind-blowing how it's so easy so customizable and all of that so if you also want to be able to try that there's a link i have in the description box below that will take you to media modifier and it helps you it helps you to use the link i have in the description box below okay so the background of my image has been removed so i drop it down here you know and it's looking very interesting then i would you know increase the size to something like this and uh, yeah this is looking very nice and sweet okay so now after you've been able to do that the first thing is to add a milestone so i would press t on my keyboard and now type 50k okay yeah because i re i hit 50k recently on instagram okay so um 50k and it's all thanks to you yes you you the person watching thank you for uh you know following me on instagram and just in case you are not like really really should i be telling you what you have to do okay so uh, <laughs> i will change this okay so i would use you know my iconic font which is with 800 but if you do not find it in 
Canva. I, I guess you can. If you have Canva Pro, you can just download it from any font website and upload it in Canva. Okay, so I just added it over here and I changed the color to white and sent it behind the sweet looking gentleman over here. Then I came to effect, came to shadow and I will change, you know, the color of the shadow to black Then I would increase the blurriness of it so that it looks something like this, which is very cool. Okay. So after you do that, there are some few things you have to do. The first thing is click on, you know, a new page, press R on your keyboard for a rectangle, drop it down like this and maybe increase the size. Okay. Then over here, we are going to use another font, but we just say, thank you. Okay. So just use all caps and say, thank you. Okay. Then I will change it to any one at all, maybe poppins. Okay. Now I select all and copy and I give a space and add it again. Another thank you. Then, you know, we do this and we would reduce the size to something like this. Okay. So you can see what we have over here. So I would first of all rotate okay to 90 degrees. Okay. Then I would increase this, you know, all of this. I'll just increase it and move this down here. Then I think I would want to add another thank you over here. So I just say another thank. Okay, then I stretch this out. Oh, what was I doing? Okay, I'll stretch this out. And I will drop this over here. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we are going to do is to come to, you know, download. Okay, and we are just going to download page 3. But make sure you choose transparent background. And this is only available in Canva Pro. That's one of the uh, thing about it. So we just choose page three and I will download it. Okay. So we just give it the opportunity to download, then come to upload media. Okay. Download and I select what I downloaded. Okay. So you can see I've added it over here. So now what I have to do is I would click on it. Okay. And add it. Let me delete this page because I don't need it anymore. And position this one over here. Increase the size. Okay. So I can drop this one here, duplicate it. This one can even go behind, you know, behind me, duplicate. This one can come here. You know, you can just be crazy when it comes to this, De depending on how thankful you are. Yeah. You understand? I position this one over here. So with this one, I'll come to edit image and I'll just make it blur. Okay. So I make it blur, not to blur. Or this one can be sharp okay just a little bit this one will be very blur okay because it's behind us okay so very blur and um you know maybe i'll just do the same for this i'll copy the filter code for this paste it on this one okay then with the one behind i would copy the filter code and you know drop it here so that we can have something like this okay so after you do this what you have to do next is um go into the element website okay and search for gradient you would find this gradient we have over here a black gradient i just copy from this you find the gradient like this okay so what we'll do is i'll position this gradient over here okay and i'll duplicate it rotate it to 90 you know negative 90 and position it here then drop it down double click and move it in okay so that you can have something like this then what we are going to do is i will click on this gradient come to edit image in edit image i would come to dual tone okay so you click on dual tone and you select any of the options you see so you just select any of them come to highlight okay change the shadow to the yellow you use or any color at all you use um you know with the shadows to change it to the same thing so we have something like this then maybe I can drop it backward like this. So you see how this is looking. Okay. Then we will duplicate this one. Okay. And I would rotate it this way. Drop it here. And I'll send this one to the back. Okay. So this one will be behind. 
behind me like that okay so that i can be looking very interesting like this okay then i would maybe increase the size a little bit so this is how everything is going to look. So, but depending on how you want it to look maybe i can reduce you know this one a little bit so that it doesn't make our design look too yellowish you understand so you can create it like this and um so you can just feel free depending on how you want your things to look so with this if you want to make it more blur you just you know come back here and increase the blurriness of it and you can do the same for this one too okay so this is how we're able to make this inside of canva and there's one more thing there's one more thing so i click on this one i come to you know on my image i come to adjust and i can also adjust the tint of it to make it yellowish so that it matches with the whole vibe of our design and yes these are the steps i use to create this particular design you see so i hope you're able to find this tutorial and this design very useful and um, just in case you're looking for more canva tutorials there are three things you have to do the first one is to hit on the subscribe button second one on the bell icon and the third one is to check my channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next tutorial